Okay, legends, quick fire price update from me, MDX Crypto. I've lost my voice. <laughs> Had a bit of a hectic weekend. I haven't really recovered yet. So <laughs> my voice is lost, but I'm, I'm feeling all right. So I'm going to do a quick fire price update, guys. Let's get into it. So... Uh, Bitcoin price right now, guys, are trading at $45,891. We had a little bit of a dip a second ago, maybe the last few hours. We just bounced back, looking like we're trying to create some sort of higher low here. Um, let me just go into what I'm going to go into this video, guys. I'm going to go through. This is the brand new MDX trading portal, guys. This is actually called MDX Algo now. This is going to be live literally within the next week. We're going to talk about, guys, the commitment of traders, guys. This is the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. This is what the um, the deal is. They're called dealers, but they're institutional grade traders who work at the CME. They are now shorting the market, guys, hectically again, like they did last November. Last November, guys, uh, was when we literally, I, we actually hit the top of Bitcoin's price on my birthday, actually. <laughs> on the 10th of November is the day we actually hit it. Maybe a few days later, we got another high, but around here is where the dealers are shorted. We're going to go into the dealers, we're going to talk about the CBI, guys, we're going to look at the portal, we're going to look at the price action, we're going to go into it. But generally, guys, on longer short, so, you know, the market, okay, commitment of traders are shorting a lot right now, so we've got to keep this into account. But let's just go through this kind of like methodically. I'm just going to go straight into the detail here in terms of the data. So in terms of five minute, guys, we just whip this to the five minute scale to see what the long to short ratio is. I think we are slightly more, it's only a slightly more long on Bybit right now. Binance is around 50-50. Guys, we know that if the market's significantly over long or significantly over short, it means that the market will, generally speaking, trade the, the opposite direction to the majority. So right now, we're literally 50-50, guys, on the nail. And we knew that we did get a little bit short as we came up here. We, when we actually came down to 45K, because obviously, guys, we were talking about that trade. If you looked at my previous trade setup, I said I'm going to be buying 45K. We'll get into that in a second, guys, but we'll stick with the um, the portal because I want to go through everything how I basically go through my strategy. So 50-50, long or short, fine. We're looking at about uh, you can, where my mouse cursor is, $20 billion open interest. That means right now, guys, there's about $10 billion long or $10 billion short. Okay, so that's a lot of fuel. That's what I call it. It's jet fuel. The more freaking open interest, the more fuel this thing can run. Fear and greed, guys, 50 again. So agnostic 50 percent a lot here uh we're up on the monthly we're coming down on the weekly coming down the week in the days eth dominance eight uh 16 oh, 18.7 so that's kind of that really guys and volume today i think what we're looking at guys actually on bitcoin was about 33 billion dollars volume all the way down here guys but yeah this is the mdx trading portal guys you know it's called mdx algo now the link is in the description and you can actually get um five uh tailor-made um trading view indicators which are the best back tested indicators in the industry guys i won't waffle on i've, sp I've spoken about a million times guys these are the best um they are literally going to help you trade the market guys massively if you're a beginner or you're an intermediate trader so guys let's get straight into the charts here um so yeah guys we kind of played out what i said you know i'm not gonna lie like i was actually saying that we're gonna rally up here guys i took a short here um i got stopped out on a small loss on this one we rallied up higher and then i said guys what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be looking to because i was long from forty two thousand. i took some profit guys actually when we did get the rally up and we couldn't make a new high on terms of that move uh, i still have exposure to that long but what i did was i took some profit guys and actually i increased the long position when we bounced off this this part guys because i said that what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna look to buy can't, got my, i haven't got my mouse right now guys but i'm gonna use this uh this inflection point this is basically an sr flip guys on forty five thousand. you can see here between 44 5 and um, between 44 5 and 45 right um previous resistance here um is likely to hit we hit it we hit it as resistance first there was a short play to be made there but when we broke it guys it's likely that the market will come back to retest it and test it as support that's what we got guys and actually we got a significant move off this uh, and that long trade guys i actually have completely taken profit from longs now so i'm not in any positions long i'm looking to rebuy this zone again yes we're coming in into a descending fashion i haven't got my mouse right now so um this is actually a descending formation guys okay so you can see here um i you know i literally this is the kind of thing I'm looking for, guys. I'm looking for a bounce off support. Can't make a higher high. We come back down. That's why I took profit off this trade, guys. Um, you know, I'm not in any exposure in any, like, short-term positions right now. Obviously, I have been buying medium-term longs, obviously, all the way down at 33K. I buy Bitcoin pretty much every day for long-term plays and medium-term swings. Uh, but short-term scalping is what you guys mostly do on the channel. So, that's what we're talking about. So, we're, we're in a descending formation right now, guys. You know, we have a flat bottom of support here. And we also have, um, actually, it's actually resistance then support a few times. But you can see here that we actually have got um, lower highs coming into this. This is spelling out, guys, um, just it, less and less, um, you know, like <laughs> there's not as many buyers coming in, guys. It's very simple. You're seeing there aren't as many buyers coming in and sellers are prepared to step in 
at a lower and lower price as it rises so you're basically seeing um there's not a, there's not as many participants of buyers right now uh the market's coming back down we and we have to hold you know not we have to hold it but if you are going to buy this region you're looking to buy this um for it acting as support and really this is the level to hold guys it's forty five thousand dollars if you lose that then we're coming back down to probably the mid-range of this whole thing around to about 42 uh, i think it's around 41 1 to about 42 exactly uh probably something like this you know i can't really draw very well right now guys because i haven't got my mouse maybe get the resistance there when we come back to it and there it could be a short play if we get a logical retest of resistance so if we do break it um, you know what we could potentially see is a retest of it and then back down and you know this idea here um, Wouldn't you know, this is not something which is out of the cards Everyone's getting super bullish right now, you know the dealers and the CME group are actually shorting this market They're actually massively exposed to shorts. This actually um, is the same amount of shorts that we had last November uh, And you know last November guys when this you can actually see as the market rallied on this um, second um, higher low on this on basically the bull market, you know, we actually came up higher low continuation um, We did have some significant divergences over this over the medium to long term But we can see very clearly guys that the CME dealers they started adding positions on longs. It was around It was before October. It was around here. They started really getting hot in terms of adding shorts onto their books and uh, You can see here guys. They're basically taking the other side of asset managers on the exchange you can see exchange, uh, asset managers but they're actually even really going for it as well so asset managers are significantly long all the way through november so like you know they, none of these guys have changed any of their positions they've just been holding onto those longs hodling for dear life just buying for that medium term to long term outlook which is probably will probably be successful but these guys will have the ability to go underwater uh, for much longer than most retail traders do um but we can see that the dealers um, have been taking the opposite side of these guys' positions, and we know that the dealers are, generally speaking, much more accurate <laughs> at basically placing positions of exposure of which direction it's going to go. So they're better traders, institutional grade traders. So as the market was rallying up, guys, the dealers actually peaked out their short positions around here. That was November, <laughs> so they literally, you know, they nailed it, and uh, then they they tapered off and they took the, those those profits from those short positions, and then now they've added again, and we're just here. So I want to make a point here because it is, it's not something you should say to yourself, okay, look, now the dealers are short that I'm selling everything. No, of course not. We've got to look at everything else, the confluence. You know, the dealers can stay on, on this short. They could start really laddering in all the way up here. You know, we can go much higher. We could, we could even make a new high, but the dealers just are laddering into shorts. And there has been occasions where they've, they've taken losses. Can't win everything. So I'm just going to put that out there for you guys to make a decision as well on what you think. And I would say my hunch is this, okay? having having um a look at the okay, look if the market gets super long okay we start seeing the market really going it the opposite way of the dealers and we get a lot of long exposure on the market and we know we win in the market generally speaking makes the fools out the most people so if we do get a significant amount of longs coming into this okay and we start just losing significant support levels okay i would say that nothing really to worry about if we're above 45 but we lose 45 i'm looking at 42 and i think if we do lose 42 within the next three to one month right one month if we come down and we really can't get above any of this crap then i think actually we could be spreading out coming down to range lows range lows would then i would say it's unlikely we're not going to get a continuation at some level so range lows might get broken and we actually might come to macro lows of 30k i think it's unlikely guys that you know this market really does i can't draw like how i usually draw because <laughs> this fucking i'm on my, my my macbook but like i would say that it's on i would say it's unlikely we could get that but it's not out, out, off the cards and i think you know looking at just logically looking at this market guys 42k is the first warning sign that actually now we're beneath these highs we're actually coming down you know to try and carve out another higher low but we want to continue and try and make sure we can at least keep some sort of trend uh, we can draw some trend lines, you know, we can do that. Uh, we're getting closer to the time. We, we want to look, we want to look, we can hold some sort of, at least some sort of trend to get us out of this down, downwards momentum here. And then generally, actually, you know, if you look at, if you actually do look at momentum, I haven't got, okay, I would actually like to use my indicators because I have great indicators. I haven't got them up right now, but let's just whip up. Because if you use the MDX indicators, guys, you're going to get some, we have some, we have actually have three, uh, we have three MDX algo indicators and we have actually two oscillators as well. Um, but for now, I'll just use the standard stuff we've got on TradingView, which I use anyway. Um, oh, they've had, they've had, oh no, is that an update? I don't even know. 
Um, so in terms of momentum, let's, let's whip out a little bit, guys. There's no point really looking at the four hour right now because we are just in range. We're, we're looking to just retest 45. So daily, we're coming down quite sharply, actually. Yes, um, TCM squeeze overbought and significantly overbought in comparison to what we had before, and we did get a touch of overbought on the RSI. So yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me to see this come down a little bit more, get another retest of 45. I will look to buy this, guys. I've said to you before, if we get down here again, I will look to buy it, even just for that small move up to get the next lower high. And then there, there's a trade to be played there, guys. You know, you just play the bounce, take the trade. If you make a lower high, take profit, and then you can move forward, okay? So that's kind of what we're looking for. I will look to buy this region again. And if we lose it, uh, what we're looking for is we, we get a retest, and then you short into um, you short into basically the failure of the break of the, the, um, the resistance level, okay? So it's an SR. So what you're doing is you're looking to, instead of trying to like, short through resistance let it break and then short after you get the failure of the retest of where the, the zone is okay and that's the kind of the way you're looking to really like try and get your probability up up of winning trades so that's kind of that there guys and then one or few more things to talk about as well when the portal is live guys mdiago is live you can actually click trade on here and it will actually take you to my website which is mdxcrypto.com now guys if you want to trade these markets come onto this website you can go through here you can actually see Every, this is everything I use, guys. If you want to trade buy on Bybit, if you want to trade Bitcoin or, alt, or altcoins, come and click these links, guys, because I actually trade Bitcoin with Bybit. I trade altcoins with Femex. And these links on my website will give you thousands. They will literally give you thousands of thousands of dollars for free to get you started when you sign up on the exchange so they can kind of win your business long term. You know, give you some free funds, get you in the exchange, do a deposit, start trading, and enjoy it. So come to my website, guys. It's mdxcrypto.com. Come to this page here. In terms of the CBBI, you know, you guys already know what I'm going to say here. I, I believe that anything under 50 is where you should be buying and you should be laddering in you know more aggressively as you go down you know i'd say if you're below 10 on the cbbi that's when you're getting towards the bottom of a bear market when you're above 90 on the cbbi that's when you're getting to the stage where you're getting to the top of a bull market okay so this is a macro indicator this is not something you look at for short-term trades it's something for long-term stuff and i think it's more likely actually that um bitcoin if it does want to can stay in this range it just goes flat for a lot longer than most people can expect. And if that does happen, that means all momentum indicators end up getting back to 50%. Time is um, as powerful as a move, okay? So time is resistance, you know? Markets in turn, markets don't have to go down in price for momentum to reset. Re momentum can be reset by just something going flat for a significant period of time. That's why it's not as simple as, okay, you're overbought, you sell. No, it's, you can go, so you can still go sideways. But it depends on the velocity of the move. So, you know, RSI is relative strength. So the speed you get there for the relative time it takes. Okay. So, um, yeah, guys, hit the links below. Get the exchanges. Uh, add me on Twitter. Portal's coming soon. You're all edge on debts. I'll be back on normal shizzle minizzle. He'll be literally.